In this video, I will show you how to run C and C++ files using Atom. So first, we need to download and install Atom. Then we need to download and install MinGWW64. And finally, we need to install this package called GPP compiler into Atom. So I suppose that you have already downloaded and installed Atom. So I will show you how to download and install MinGWW64 and how to install this package. So let's open the navigator and here let's type MinGWW64. Now let's go to this first link. Now in this page we have to click on downloads. Then we have to scroll down and to click on this link MinGWW64 builds. Now here we have to click on this link. Now we have to save this installer on the computer, so I will save it on the desktop. So this is the installer of MinGWW64, I have just to start it. Now in this window we have to click next. Then here I will modify the architecture and I will choose the second value. Now let's click next. So here it is possible to accept this path, but I prefer to install it directly on the C drive. So I will remove program files from the path. Now let's click next. Now the installation finished successfully. So let's click on next. And here let's click on finish to close this window. Now it is necessary to add MinGW to the system environment variable. So let's go to the location where MinGW has been installed. So I installed it on the C drive into a folder called MinGWW64. And I have to open this folder, then this folder. And this is the binary folder. It contains G++ which allows me to compile C++ files and GCC which allows me to compile C files. So I have to copy this path and to add it to the system environment variable. So let's copy it. And let's go to system, then advanced system settings. Then in this window, I have to click on environment variables. Then here I have to find the path variable, which is this one. And I have to edit it. Now at the beginning of this field, I will paste the path to provide it with the highest priority. Also, I have to add a semicolon as the separator between the different paths. Now let's click on OK. OK. OK again. And let's close this window. We have also to close this folder. Now MinGWW64 has been installed correctly. So let's start Atom. And let's close all of these pages. Now let's create a new C++ file. So I will click on File, then New File. And here I have to save it first. So let's save it. So I will save it on the desktop into a folder called CPP. And I will call it main.cpp. So here I have to write some C++ code. So this is a simple C++ code that allows us to print this message to the user. So let's save this file. And now if I make a right click, I don't have the ability to run this file. So it is necessary to install a new package. So I have to go to file then settings then install and here i have to type gpp compiler so this is the package that i need to install i have just to click on install so it has been downloaded and installed this number of times and this is the author of this package so let's click on install to install it of course we have to wait a few seconds or even a few minutes till the end of the download and the installation. So as you can see, it has been installed correctly. Now let's close this settings. And here, if I make a right click, 
I can see here compile and run so let's click on this and as you can see this is the output so let's hit any key to close this window finally thank you very much for watching and please subscribe to the channel